If I had to have one tool in my toolkit, it would be the low angle block plane. And that's what we have right here. Why I say it's a low angle is the block planes come in a, a couple of different varieties. The, what they call a high angle block plane has a 20 degree angle on the bed that holds a blade. The low angle is oh, 12 to 13, depending on the manufacturer just tops for doing uh, things like planking, for example, because it has a kind of a, a pairing or skewing type of effect to it. Comfortable in your hand, it has an adjustable front end on it so you can adjust how much opening you want to have in the throat for getting rid of shavings. It's a great little tool, not too expensive, so you might as well get uh, you know, the, the best of the mid-range. But it's nice, you'll, you'll like it. It becomes sort of an extension of your hand in a lot of ways. And you, can, you can shape spars with it, you can move it around here. It's great for when doing model making, a lot of use. This is a slack, which is uh, one of the tools that you're going to use, maybe not every day, but a lot. These, these tools are, are very, very uh, um, useful for doing all kinds of things, for shaving, shaving wood or for, for, you know, hogging wood. You can remove a lot of wood or you can split a pencil line with a thing. Mm. Um, what do you want to look for on this is the steel. There's tool steel laminated to the back of all these heavier chisels. And you can see the line right there, the mm -hmm. difference between the dark and the, the mild steel. And a lot of times you can see it on the edge too, you can see it there. Yep. And so if you buy an old slick and it's got a little bit of pitting, you're probably okay as long as you've got enough thickness of steel. You know, a lot of times you'd look at the back of a slick and if it were real pitted, you'd say, nah, I don't even want to buy it because, you know, it's never going to, you're never going to be able to use it. But if it's got enough tool steel, you know, there's almost three sixteenths of an inch there, you can, you can sand it or abrade it down to where you can get the thing flat. And the original reason for the tool maker using the two types of steel was? Uh, the tool steel was precious. Yeah. Um, it was not common and expensive, and they didn't want to use yeah. miles uh, tool steel for the whole thing. Yeah. Um, the, some of the lighter, thinner chisels, like those are tool steel all the way out, but the ones that have a little bit more meat to them all had tool steel laminated to them. And you may. Well, before we leave the, the slick, um, you may look at it, and if you're focused on small boat construction, you might think to yourself, well, you know, I would never use something like that. Practically every small boat builder that I know has a slick in their toolbox.